Agro Suede and welcome everyone to Agro Suede Market Garden with me, Mitchell Juno Suede. Of course, Happy New Year to you, 2021. This is our first video for 2021. It's been a while we've done a film and I do apologize. Things are not the same as when we were back at Agro Suede Market Garden. So the time and the ability to record is a bit limited right now. And of course, in this video, I'm going to show you how I'm going to basically reinforce my compost bin. What I've decided to do, I've decided, guys, to use a laundry basket basket um, for my composting only problem is I think mice or rats they're nibbling at it I don't know if you could see but here's a, 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 a hole which they nibble through to go in um, there's another one somewhere else um, so they've been nibbling through it and going in and eating the compost which I do not like at all as you can see here's another one they've been trying to be almost there um, so what I'm going to do I'm basically going to reinforce it with some um, wire fencing and I'm going to show you how I'm going to do this um, of course the reason why I decided to use a laundry basket because of the design it's very well aerated because of the way it's designed um, also it has a larger base where um, it will retain some moisture to allow the compost to decompose properly and also it's portable so it's very much easy to move very easy to move around if you have to the only disadvantage well two disadvantages now that i've discovered that the rats are getting through it is that you would need to put this somewhere where there's not a lot of direct sunlight because it will start crumbling up and you know breaking up from the sun extreme sunlight so i have it between my two planters where it get uh, um you know a little bit of sunlight not a lot exactly um but basically this is it i'm going to remove the last bit of compost for you as an added feature so that you could see the compost that i've been creating or what i've got um also on my side here is my compost being in like a quarter barrel sort of um plastic barrel container it's doing pretty well um but the only problem with this is that i have to really allow this to decompose for almost six months just leave it in there for it to completely decompose as you can see it's got a lot um because it's not well aerated so i just have to let it do it thing just let it stay in here till everything basically decomposes and it's taking much longer of course because it's not well aerated but it keeps the rats out of course but basically we're gonna focus on this one um let's go ahead so that you could see me pour out some of the compost in here and i'm gonna reinforce it with this chicken wire or wire fencing um it's very strong the rats should not be able to get through this one so let's go ahead and start this project okay guys so we're gonna pour the compost um as i told you i've removed quite a lot from it already so you do not have a lot but we're gonna pour it out for you to see how rich it is So this is the compost. As you can see, I mean the paper, I put paper at the bottom of it. Let me just show you. I don't know if you can see it. So I placed some newspaper at the bottom of it. So of course that will be very much last to decompose. Gonna place that right back in there. Okay. Um, but as you can see, we've got a nice brown rich compost. R nice rich compost. Some of the paper at the bottom is still in there, but that's fine. It's paper. It wouldn't really matter. But here it is, our nice rich brown compost. It's still very moist, this, this one right here, because again, at the bottom of it, um, has like an inch and a half um, of basically water holding ability down at the bottom here. So it's of course gonna be a bit more moist. Um, as you can see, it's got bugs in here. So it's a very good compost. Just that the paper, as you can see, the, the paper is what basically remain. Just gonna place it back in there. The paper is what remain. Um, on decompose because it's all the way at the bottom. We've got a root in here. I don't know how this root got in here um, But yeah, so we're gonna leave this out to dry a bit Just gonna leave it in here to dry a bit um, And then we'll go ahead and add it on to the, the actual soil But just want to encourage you showing you how my compost is um, from this laundry basket idea, okay? Okay guys, so our next challenge is to open up this wire. Um, one of the difficulty is that is knowing the actual amount we need. So that might be one of the difficulties, knowing exactly how much we need. Um, so I'm just gonna have to, you know, test it out to see how wide it might need to be.
Okay guys, so here we have it. The basically the amount of wire fencing that we need. Um, the next challenge is to get it pinned on together. Um, of course, that's where the pointy pliers come into place. By the way, this pliers is like just for cutting. Don't know what type of pliers it is. This is not my strongest um, expertise. Um, so, but you guys can maybe see what I'm doing. And if you all are familiar with the pliers, you know exactly which one I'm using. So I'm just gonna try to get one of the wires connected properly there. Oh, okay. So just to give you a closer view of it, I wish if I had a better quality um, camcorder or camera, I would give you a closer view to show you exactly how I'm pinning it. Okay guys, so here we have it, the wire fencing and of course the laundry basket. The only disadvantage really I can see with this idea, when it comes to the circumference, as you can see here, it's a bit more, you know, narrow and smaller. But again, we use this measurement from the base of the um, laundry basket. But as you can see, the laundry basket is designed in a way to open as it gets um, to the top. So as you can see, it's a bit smaller at the bottom and then open up to the top. But nonetheless, um, let's just observe what can be done. Or let's just go ahead and have it done. And I'm going to add in some sawdust inside. I'll put some sawdust in there. I've got a lot, so I'm just going to add it up in here. Okay, guys, so I'm going to use a piece of board for the time. It fits perfectly well in there. Um, and of course, adding compost to it. Um, I've got some vines, so I'm just going to have it added on right now. Got some vines. So I'm just going to put it in here. Got some paper shred. And from there we'll just add on compost to it and of course protect it with this. So of course this is it guys. I hope that you are encouraged. Um, as I told you, I'm going to try to use the remainder of the wire fencing to make uh, another compost bin which and um, which would be a good idea for you in case you don't have the laundry basket I'm um, of course just ensure if you're putting this wire fence into sit somewhere ensure the surface is a solid one so that no animals or rat can bore underneath and then you put something heavy on the top this is a very good idea it allows proper aeration so the air would go through properly you can wet it um, of course and you can also observe the decomposition process because you can see through it you will know if you need to add on some food peeling some paper shred, some brown paper, some leaves. It will help you to see through better to decide what you need to add on. Because you will see if you have too much um, vegetables and um, fruit peeling that you will need to add in some leaves or some paper shred. So it's a very good idea to try out this method. Of course, guys, please don't forget to subscribe to Agro Sweet Bucket Garden. Like us on Facebook. Follow us on Instagram because I've been sharing some pictures on Instagram so that you could see. Follow us on Instagram. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And again, Happy New Year 2021 to all you who have subscribed and viewed the video. Of course, let's keep optimistic and, and I don't want to say positive because no one wants to hear positive now with COVID-19 um, existing. So let's keep optimistic um, in 2021 and hope for the best. Of course, thank you so very much. And Agus Wade is out.